What's up, YouTube? Boost Down GP here coming at you, and we're dealing with the shitbox right now. There's nothing wrong with it. However, turbocharger is a GM4, and um, I guess they're known to run out of boost early on, which this kind of does run out a little bit of boost when I this thing really starts to take off, the cam really starts to kick in, so... I'm going to change the compressor housing to a bigger GM8. Might be able to see it. GM8. Um, I thought it was a 9. Uh, I would change the whole turbo. However, this already has a custom flange welded on. And um, this is the older style with the wastegate in the um, compressor housing or not the, the uh, turbine housing it's already hooked up everything's clean the bearings are beautiful so all I need to do is pull this front assembly off and put that one on bolt it down put the wastegate back in um, I do have to drill another hole for the uh, for the wastegate pressure side which I don't need to do right now um, it just, it won't have a wastegate, it won't put anything on the wastegate, but I'm going to pull off this here, um, intake air filter, so I will be back. Alright, so, as you, I'll show you on here, if you look how smooth and gradual the intake is of the turbo, and then you go over to this one. Notice it's got a ledge right there. It's it's bigger, but it's not gradual. It's kind of it hits the ledge and then goes in. Um, no shaft play, none of that. Spins fucking beautiful. Let's spin it again. Look at that. Ooh, Let's spin it again. That's so hot. Anyway, um, if you also notice, just the sheer. you look at the front down right about there the space between the actual intake and that is less than the one on that so this is the bigger compressor housing pretty sure I don't have to change the um, compressor wheel because I already looked at another GM4 and it has the same compressor wheel as the GM8 has so it's just a bigger compressor housing all together to flow a lot more air at the same rate or the same amount or more efficient actually I guess you would say so um, I'm going to go ahead and swap this out and I'll catch you guys in a bit also what I want to let you guys know is take a look at the size of the bolt that holds the compressor on the GM4 and then take a look at the size that holds the compressor on the GM8. It's a lot smaller and I'll do a comparison next to each other. Get to see the size difference. Since the 8 is a bigger compressor, they can't, I guess they couldn't put big bolts like this. I like the big bolts, but if I gotta swap them out, that's what I gotta do. So, something I want you guys to know, if you deal with GM turbos, um, definitely something that you're going to have to uh, keep in mind. And, um, you can, I believe, yeah, you can swap out the compressor housings for bigger ones since they're the same company and the same turbo, just different, they were for different trucks, so something you want to be noticed of. Okay, so if you look at this, it's pretty dirty in there, a lot of dust. Um, take a look at the actual turbo. There's a lot of dust in there. Um, it does float, spin really nice. I do have a bunch of spare compressor wheels, and um, 
what I'm going to do is run my finger around the rim on the outside, make sure any, uh, any, like, dirt or any of that is off so I can fit the bigger compressor. In fact, I'll show you what I mean. If you look at the, how wide that is, and look at it on that one, you notice, maybe not, the 8 is a lot thicker, so it flows a lot more air. So, I'm going to put this on and be back in a minute. So, actually, the bigger compressor housing will not fit as the rim right here where it bolts, where it kind of holds it together. There's not enough of the rim as opposed to this one where there's a pretty good amount. So, it will not interchange. You have to change the turbo itself, or at least, I believe, the whole center section. But, um, I don't see myself doing so. So, I'm kind of stuck with the four. I did not know that. I thought you can interchange them. So, I'm still putting this video up, but it's, uh, not going to fit. So, don't bother trying because I just tried and it will not fit. So, rate, subscribe, like. Let me know if any other compressor housings fit, like a 6 or a 7 or a 5 or anything like that. I'd like to go bigger, but I don't want to change the turbo itself. And uh, check me out on Instagram, BoostTownGP. Get the latest scoop on secret projects, projects yet to come to the channel, and extra content that doesn't deserve a video in itself. Thanks for watching. And there you go.